the way I was brought up, even the music, uh, what you consider like the music that our neighbors play. Um, I was brought up on classical music, so I guess I was in a different range as far as culture. Mexican culture? Yeah, my Mexican culture was was different from the average Mexican mm -hmm. who lived in the mission. Gotcha. And I think that's, and, and of course, you know, because we were Christians, my, my father, during the early 60s, he said, okay, we got to get out of this neighborhood. It's going downhill. And so we did, we moved. And that's how we ended up over off of Monterey um, Boulevard up in the Sunnyside area. And... Um, so yeah, I, and I guess it's because of the church that I attended growing up. I mean, it was, there were only two Mexican families going to that church. The rest of them were all blondes and blue eyes. Um, yeah, old Swedish church that um, I was never discriminated against. Not in my church. They suffered a lot of discrimination. I mean, Mommy trying to make friends with the neighbor made this beautiful casserole of, of enchiladas and she found it in the trash. The whole thing went into the trash. So there were many discriminations that my parents suffered. I never really identified with the Chicanos back in the 70s uh, because back then the Chicanos were more geared towards the cholos and cholas, and it, it was more hardcore, like gang-related sometimes. Or they were, um, you know, there was an attire that they would wear. It was like the bad girls from Mission High. And I didn't go to Mission High to begin with. And since I was geared towards the Beatles, the English music, that was my thing. So I never really identified as a Chicana, you know, even though you know they would refer to us or to me sometimes as Chicana. And, and going to City College, they had uh, these groups or 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 uh, yeah for Chicanos or you know Latin Latin Americans. But I never was part of it. I mean, I went once or twice, and I realized, nah, this is not for me. It's not my kind of thing. I never identified myself. I never even considered myself a Chicana, Chicana. I'm a Mexican American, you know? I mean, grew up on the Beatles and did a lot of English. I was into the English stuff, mm -hmm. but never a Chicana. Mm -hmm. for your mom. <laughs> Angie, this is about that new bigger chest we wanted for the bedroom, you know, the saline one. Mexico still has a chance. That one right into the feet of Navarro. Turns around an opportunity. Here comes Landon Donovan. Straight ahead. On Sanchez. Breaks around the left. He shoots and scores. That'll do it. Great goal. That will do it for the United States. Two to nothing. You know, bad things happen in this place, Mamita. But it's so homey. 
homie. I love what you've done with the wall here. Snoopy loves Chiquita. Which one of you sleeps on a doghouse and which one's a banana? I'm guessing the love is between you two. Am I wrong? Madre, pendejo. Why didn't you teach me Spanish? <laughs> because your father, uh, I mean, it was very difficult in the household. I mean, I should have, I should have, yes, I should have. And I should have sent you to Mexico in the summers. You and your brother should have gone. But we didn't have the finances. What do you mean because of dad? Oh, because he only knew English. So if I had kept going with the Spanish and the English, at some point, he would have been able to divide the two. But because I got so concerned, I stopped the, in, the uh, Spanish, and then immediately your brother started speaking. Oh, dang it, you hurt yourself. Dang it, Tyler. Anyway, um, yeah, they were very conservative. Um, the, the thing that I can equate it to is like, um, like Linda Ronstadt, the way that she was brought up, the kind of music that she grew up listening to. Uh, it's, it's, it's different from the regular stuff. Regular stuff that what? That most Mexicans listen to. took him to see Linda Ronstadt. Really? Yeah. Uh, the kind of music that he, I guess, remembers when he was a child. Uh, that was from the Canciones de Mi Padre concert that she gave. They would listen to rancheras, but it was more romantic, the ballads, the Mexican ballads, more romantic, that kind of thing. But I would never hear my father playing anything like the Cuban, you know, like the salsa stuff. Never, never, because they weren't dancers. They, that wasn't their kind of music. It was a higher taste of music, I guess. I don't know, I, I'm uh, trying to find the right word. Um... 